which keeps your sales class very good. It doesn't say the sales class very good. Why don't you choose? And run it along. You know, we start that number up and the price there is really, really fast. It doesn't run it along six inches in front of that unless you move it forward. Right. So then you mow that lawn. So what I want you to do is start your mower up and have your mower go forward. What you tend to do is start your mower up and you go, you bit of grass over there and you better die fall over right on the ground because I'm going to have my mower blade go around here a lot. Does that make sense? You start the mower up here and expect to mow this grass here without moving the mower blade. Just like that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So what I want this horse to do, and there's something else you tend to do, is you tend to go that way. The direction you go when you step towards this horse is a big thing. And you, to me, you pull your horse's head this way and you step this way to get that right there. Okay? If you have to, wherever you're standing, draw a line towards the hind foot like that. Make sure your feet and your rope follow that line. We'll start here, step there, swing, tap, whack, bang, whack, 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 Okay, I'm going to try it again. 
again to start here. Now, by the time I get to this horse, I'm going to be about this far away. If I have this much rope, I can't swing it between me and there. Okay? I'm going to have enough rope that I can do that and take my little lawnmower and move it forward and mow that horse's backside. So I'm going to start here, lean forward, step there, swing that, tap that, tap a little harder, right there, he just does a little more than me. Then I'll quit, and once again, what are we doing right now here, Jackie? We're going back to that same rubbing we did in the first place. If you can get that horse to, see the difference, if you can get that horse to where as soon as you do that, he goes to sleep. Where's our dog lady? If you can get that horse to where as soon as you rub him here, he goes to sleep. After a while, you won't need it. You know, we're not using that as the primary thing. That's the last thing. Does that make sense? Okay. And so, after a while, I step here, swing this over here. He's not going over. Right about there, he steps over. After a while, right here, I don't, wouldn't need to rub him. Right there, he'd go. Right now, I might need to do this bit to rub him to get him to relax, but after a while I'd have to, he'll just move over and relax. So it's not something you're going to use out there when things go wrong. It's something you're going to use to teach horses to relax when things do go wrong before they go wrong. Right. Everything you're doing here, you're trying to make, everything you do, think about, anybody ever seen a guy on a plane, an Australian fellow on a guy on a plane? You seen a guy on a plane? You ever seen him? Nobody's seen him? No. He, I think he lives over here in America now. He does, all, does a lot of fairs and stuff. and does all these cool shows and horses. But he rides around on one horse, riderless and saddleless, and he has three other horses loose in with him. And he can tell one to stand oh. there, one to stand there, one to stand oh. there. And he can ride past them, one to pull him beside him, and he can ride around and beside him, and he gets the other one. Then there's three of them riding around, doesn't matter where they go, they're side by side, and then there's a fourth one. But what he does at the end of his act, he, um, he gets one of them to lay down, like so lays down on his belly like this. And then he takes his horse and rides over to the back end of it. It's that uh, Ted's person. And it's laid on his belly, he goes in this way. He will take his horse and side pass over the top of it till his horse is standing over its head. And he tells that one over there. And he'll come can and over it loose. Come up here, side pass over this one till it's standing over the horse's back. And then he'll tell that last one. And he'll come over again over here on the side past till it's down over the horse's hips. So the one he's on is about here. The next one's about here and the last one's about there. And then he stands up across their backs and gets his stock loops and the horse ch ch good practice stuff. Anyway, the guy said something <coughs> we said something years ago. <coughs> that's very important to remember, and it is the last thing they do is the first thing they remember. So if you do that, and I don't, so you try to stand up for it, you do that, and you swing this and swing harder and harder and harder, and finally they go, and you quit, and do it often enough, pretty soon, when you do that, the last thing they were doing, so maybe they went, and finally they were going, we saw it yesterday afternoon with a disengaging, after a while, the first thing to do is the last thing they used to do. You saw it with those horses yesterday, disengaging, put your leg back, tap, 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 till they take that big step. After a while, you can put your leg back and they take that big step. Okay, the last thing they do is the first thing they remember. If you can get the last thing they do is to totally relax like that, first thing they do is, you know, instead of having to rub them, you step over here, they don't go, you swing this, you tap that, bang, bang, and over they go, right there, boom, they will just go to sleep. You don't have to come over here and do all this stuff to get them to relax again. That last thing they do is the first thing I remember is everything to do with horse training. You know, if you think about think about teaching reining horses to do a sliding stop. First you teach them to come to a stop. And then you get them to back up really well with their ox around. You do that five meters. And then pretty soon you'll canter down there and you say, whoa, they start to do the last thing, which is back up while they're cantering forward, and that's your sliding stop. You say, whoa, and they're going, they're trying to push backwards while they're still going forward. They're not thinking they need to stop. And then back up, because they're going to get released when they back up. So you run down there and you say, whoa, and they're trying to 
to another horse that just goes like that. Now this flotilla does more than them. Because like, I just like I showed you right there. If they discipline another horse until it's just moving as much as they are, it's still pushing on them. And as they turn around and go back to the hay, it's follow them. You know what I'm talking about? Like when you were backing up right then, I said, would, I said, what would you do? And you said, okay, faster than you. I said, would you do it backwards? And you went, oh, no, I do that. When a horse is doing that, he's still going, just get out of the way. I want to go back to the hay. When they do that, they're like, okay, I'm done. I'm out of here. Does that make sense? That's why it's so important these horses do more than you. And that's where I think most people go wrong is they do a lot of stuff to get the horse to do what they want to do, but as soon as they start to the, the horse is still mentally doing the same thing they're doing in the first place. I get it. So I'm going to step over here. Right there, that's the first time that this horse did more than me. I stepped this fast. I took one step and that horse went. Now, is he worried about me? No. That's where we're trying to get to. We're trying to get to where that horse is responsive, but relaxed. Most horses are lazy and reactive. Does that sound like your horse, Abby? Your horse is lazy, unless, of course, he gets a fright. And then he's anxiety-ridden, and he's not lazy anymore, but he's, he's got lots of energy, but he's not controlled energy. So he's either got no energy for you when you want it, or when you don't want it, he has too much energy and you can't control it. That's really what we're trying to deal with here, is waiting for that stuff to happen. The scary situation we're trying to work on here. So you get what I'm talking about now tonight? 